Let's have a session on human resource objectives or HR objectives. Now clearly HR objectives are a type of functional objective or departmental objective and that will be driven by the overarching corporate objective. But the thing with HR objectives is they are probably the hardest ones to align with the corporate objective versus the other departments such as marketing or operations and we'll get to that at the end. So the first and perhaps the most obvious objective of the HR team or the HR uh, department is to ensure that employee engagement and involvement exists. You want to ensure the workplace has the right conditions. The right conditions could be in terms of financial methods, in terms of wages or salaries being appropriate, or non-financial methods. It could be in terms of is health and safety appropriate, or are certain fringe benefits in place. Now, you want to ensure that you have the right conditions so that your employees are motivated. And if they are motivated, that will lead to higher productivity. If it's labour, labour productivity. If you haven't got them in place, it could lead to higher absenteeism or even worse, higher staff turnover. And that will lead to additional recruitment costs. Number two, in terms of the objectives. You want to ensure, from a HR perspective, that you have an appropriate employee mix. But mix can be met in different ways. It could be, do you have just the right number of employees for your business? Does it make sense for your capacity right now? I do you have lots of employees that are underutilised, for example, because then maybe you want to have a smaller workforce. Are they in the correct location? If this is particularly important if you're a multinational company. Do they have the correct skills? Do they have the appropriate skills for what you want in terms of the strategic focus of your business? Or do you have to train them up? Number three, training employees. It could be training at various levels. Perhaps you need to ensure, because of new legislation, that you have provided company-wide training. Or it could be on a departmental level to keep your staff motivated. Or it could be on an individual level that you provide training for your future managers and leaders, sometimes referred to as talent development. And talent development is essentially to identify, develop and retain, retain your, your future, your best, your absolute best because you don't want them to be attracted to go elsewhere. So it could be part of the human resource team to ensure your absolute talent stays with your business and helps grow your business. You might also want to ensure that you have diversity throughout your business in terms of the employee mix. Diversity can be various things. It could be in terms of sex, it could be in terms of religion, age, race, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. Or it could be if you are a multinational company, you want to ensure that your managers or your board of directors are from different cultures. Different cultures allows them to have different perspectives on certain points of view in terms of future product releases, for example, or marketing campaigns. Or perhaps they have a particular um, awareness of the differences in cultures in a certain country that you operate with, and that it needs to be different. For that, you want to think about Hofstede's national cultures, click the card up there. Diversity, very important. The last one is alignment of your HR objectives with your corporate objectives. It could be something simple in terms of the corporate objective is cost cutting, so your HR objective is to have a recruitment fees. Freeze. It could be expansion. You're looking to expand, so you need to employ more people. You need to increase your levels of recruitment. But sometimes it's difficult to get this alignment of values. And what I mean by that is the alignment of functional objectives to corporate objectives. Perhaps your corporate objective is maximise shareholder value. Well, how do you get a functional objective that makes sense for maximising shareholder value? Well, then you need to be creative. And this is what the HR department need to do. Perhaps you could be creative in the sense that you decide that you're going to focus on talent development. It will mean that you're developing your talent for the future and that you're retaining them and they have growing skills and experience. And therefore, they allow you as a business, as a corporation to make more effective decisions. More effective decisions could lead to higher sales, higher revenue, higher profits. And that could lead to the fact that you have higher profits, more demand for your shares. And if there's more demand for your shares, then it will lead to a higher share price, which would lead to maximising that shareholder value. But the point is you're going to have to be creative sometimes with the HR objectives. So I hope that helps and I'll see you at the next session.